All right, you already know what it is, Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. It is me, the illustrious one, Professor Lake, back at it once again. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Be a Fourth Quarter Boy for life, man. Hit that notification icon for me, dog. Get notified anytime I flip out a video. So today we're going to look at Abraham Lucas, right tackle, Washington State. You know, a lot of guys are pretty high on him. I think he has a lot of potential as well. But let's take a quick look. Let's see what he looks like against Oregon. He's playing against some NFL competition, uh, Kayvon Thibodeau. So let's see how he does. Let's see what the technique is. So here we go, Abraham Lucas, right tackle, Washington State, 6'6", 322. Let's see what he could do. All right, we have Abraham Lucas at the bottom of the screen, number 72. Let's check him out. Nice feet. Gives up a little too much ground in my opinion. Let's take another look. Just really susceptible to the bull rush. You want to see him use uh, short choppy steps at this point. The base is a little too wide. As you can see, way outside of his shoulders. And it's, it, it's very hard to to chuck back that defensive lineman or that pass rusher when, you're let, when your base is that wide. All right, Abraham Lucas gets beat on the inside. That is a uh, top 10 defensive edge rusher though. You will see number five on Sundays, that's Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon fooled him with the outside move and cuts to the inside. You can see him getting better with his footwork, in my opinion. Abraham Lucas has to get better with his footwork. He also needs to get better with his hand placement and his punch. You want to see him get his hands on the inside and chuck that guy. Don't let him cross your face. You cannot let number five cross your face. And that's what happens. Again, let's look at his hands. You know, he allows the defensive lineman to get his hands in his chest. Get your hands on him. Look at that. Defensive linemen live for this. Getting their hands on you and bull rushing you into the quarterback. You got to get your hands on him, Abraham. You got to get stronger up top. This is better. One-on-one -on -one with Kevon Thibodeau. Latches on. Better feet. Gets his hands on him first. This time he doesn't allow Thibodeau to get his hands on the inside. He has to be better with the footwork. He still was able to get his guy washed down the line of scrimmage, but he almost fell down at the start of the play. Let's take a closer look. Steps with the wrong foot. Still able to wash this guy down the line. Let's look one more time. Did you guys see that? He has to be a lot better with the footwork. He could have really got that guy pushed upfield. Not that it would have made a difference in this play. I see this time he corrected it and gets his guy upfield a little bit more. Steps upfield. Kind of manhandles this guy. The one thing that's jumping off the tape to me right now is that Abraham Lucas, he really needs to clean up some technical things with his footwork and uh, just get stronger with his upper body. Definitely think he's somebody that you could mold into a starter at right tackle and possibly have some time at the left tackle position as uh, he improves his technique and his consistency. Again, another situation where his feet kind of get him in trouble and doesn't get his hands on the guy and he gets pushed back and he gives up a lot of ground. Gives up too much ground. Short choppy steps will neutralize any bull rush. You gotta get your feet going, get your feet going. Punch that guy in the chest. And Abraham Lucas just never gets his feet going. Not, not enough in my opinion. Here we have Abraham Lucas giving good pass protection not giving up a lot of ground. Again, get your hands on this guy. Don't let him get in your chest. 
towards the end of the game, you see that he needs a little help blocking Kevon Thibodeau. And that is a, a top 10, top 15 guy, Kevon Thibodeau. I just noticed that, he, that Abraham Lucas gives up too much ground, and I know that can't be comfortable for the quarterback. The quarterback doesn't want to see you approaching his lap. He's getting away. He noticed that. He got rid of the ball. Luckily, it was a complete pass. Once again, getting muscled back into the quarterback's lap, not staying on your feet, not being able to punch the pass rusher before he punches you. So there you have it. Uh, That's a quick look at Abraham Lucas. A lot of guys are really high on this guy. They want to pick him in the second round, but I look at him more like a mid-third round, late-third round uh, type of tackle. I'm not sure if he'll be ready to step right on the field uh, day one. I think there's some things he needs to clean up technically. I think there's some strength that he needs to add on in order for him to really be able to compete in the NFL on a consistent level. But he definitely has an athletic ability uh, to where you could mold and work with him. And I think that's what a lot of guys are seeing. He is a project pick, in my opinion, once again. But uh, the things that I see can be cleaned up. I think if you could get with a good strength and conditioning coach, a good offensive line coach to get his technique cleaned up, you got you a guy right here. But with all of that in mind, you know what it is, Fourth Quarter Boys Sports. It is me, the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Be a Fourth Quarter Boy for life. Hit that notification icon for me, my friend. Get notified anytime I flip out a video. Holla at your boy, man. I'm out.